Okay. Um, connecting rod, piston. This is a floating piston. You can see the connecting rod floats back and forth. There's no play in it. It just slides back and forth. Pretty cool. All right. These are oil scraper. This is an oil scraper ring here. Get that lined up. Got two thin rings that are retainer rings for this oil scraper. This is a little bit funky. Let's see if I can uh, get this on here in one shot. the top one so you can sandwich there's where the, uh, the gap is so I'm going to go 180 degrees to the other side let me check the alignment real quick yep okay there's a gap put it in down here All done. All right. So we got one, two, three, three more rings. I already gapped these. I put them in the into the cylinders. They compress down, and then I measure with a feeler. Okay, to about a hundredth of an inch. I actually had to file these a little bit with a bastard file. I think this is one of yours, actually. All right. So first ones first. That's one. All right. Let's see, did I get that one on right? There is, yep, that's stuck. Probably can't see this, but there is a little top right there. And you can barely, I can barely detect it, but there's a slight difference in the edges. So, going 180 degrees from the last gap. go and then 180 degrees back around yep I got the top there come on there we go all right so next thing this is it it uh, it works um, if you don't pay attention, it's very fiddly. By the way, you hit that release, this thing is just a one giant spring. Doo, goes everywhere. Ask me how I know. Gotta have that key in there and hold it from so it doesn't totally run away from you. Now these are these are pretty spread out. I gotta be a little bit careful because they'll bind up and they won't go into their lands if I'm not somewhat cautious. Cinch it down. I want to want to check to make sure that it's looking like it's yeah. It looks like it's it's lining up. Let me get that nice snug as snug as I can go. Really, that's that's as far as she goes. Let me just check. Yep, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to switch over here. Okay, that should more or less be in focus. All right, so last one. All right, this is a bearing. Just slides in. Oops. Not quite lined up, but there we go. That's one half. And then it'll go on on the other side on the cap to get in there. All right, so 
probably can't see this front it's the overbore size so front goes this way Okay. Here's the tricky part. Gotta keep this sucker nice and lined up. If the edge down here pulls away a little bit, when the ring come when one of the rings comes down, it'll just simply go down there, expand, and then you your next stroke you go down to pound it and it just it's not going anywhere, right? So so uh, so I'm applying downward pressure on the sleeve. Looks like I got it lined up about right. So here we go. Ready? I don't know if you can see that. Let me check. Yeah, you can kind of see it going down. All right, here we go. On three. One, two, three. Okay. Easy for me. Right, easy for me. I can actually push that down with my fingers. Let's go ahead and rotate this over. It's nice and snug in there. It's not going anywhere. I think I need to push it back down a little bit to clear the bearing here. Okay. Lock this in place. There we go. I think you can still see that. Alright, hold on. We got the cap here, got the other bearing. Okay, got the other half of the bearing in there. Okay, so set this aside while I get this lined up. I don't think I'll be able to pull it up. Oh yeah, look at that, I can actually pull it up in there. So before we go any farther, I want to put a little schmoo on there. It's assembly lube. Probably don't need to use it because this is going to go in the car pretty soon and just because I'm redundant oil on here, oil on there so I made a cocktail up we go there we go that's about right now I've marked these things, you probably can't see this, but you can see four dots one, two, three, four that was with a, uh, a punch cylinder one, two, three, and four. There's orientation, and you don't want to mix. You don't want to take one, uh, four, and put it up into one. They just kind of they don't work quite like that. Okay, I'm gonna knock it from below. go by the way it's, it's punched one two three four on this side too that way you're matching up the caps the right one I'm getting the uh, connecting rod bolts One, got it started, two, got it started, and reaching for my handy dandy. No, I mean, where did I put it? Um, oh, here it is. Just my little driver. I hope 
that's in focus still. All right. All I'm doing is just cinching it down. Oops. Okay, now I'll torque it. Click means 30 pounds. I gotta torque it up to about 40, but I gotta get to the other ones first. Actually, I can probably torque these to 40 right now. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. It's 40. It's 40. Come on, 40. It's 40. Okay, so we got one and four done. This is where it becomes fun. Wish I had a crank on there. Let's see if I can't coax it. By the way, bottom end of a wood hammer, or a wood handle hammer. No, that's not going to do it. Let's try it the hard way. I can just use a little bit of leverage here. And something that's not critical, I think. Against the counterweight. Maybe not. Come on. No. This is not cooperating. Oh, there we go. Got a little movement. I can almost get in there. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's take these up to, can I get there, it's really close, one more, one more scoop, there we go, they show that in the workshop manual, alright, going to 40, it's one side, Three. Here we go. Four. All done. That's how you put a piston in. There you go, Dad. Bye.